The Black Hills is the beginning and the origin of our people. This is the heart of Mother Earth. It is our Mecca, it is our Vatican. And without it, our ceremonies would not exist. To the Lakota, we call it Hesapa, the heart of everything that is. In the United States, there's many different native nations and one of them is referred to as the Sioux, but we don't use the word Sioux. We go by our tribal name of Lakota, and Lakota means friends and allies. My name is Sequoia Crosswhite. I'm a musician, the cultural relations advisor, and a teacher. My job is to educate people about this area and about the history of this area, and to preserve the stories so that we have it for the next generations to come. My goal is to open people's minds about the native population here in the Black Hills by taking them on tours. The role of the storyteller is to teach truth through stories and through myths. You're keeping that history alive every time you tell that story to somebody new. Without storytelling, our culture and our history could fade away. In the southwest of the Black Hills, you can find petroglyphs that date back about 10,000 years, if not older. It's telling stories of people's lives that lived there at that point in time. So this is considered the oldest petroglyph in all the United States. This is a hunting scene. You have a mountain lion in one corner and a mountain lion in the other corner there, kind of gathering in the herd of elk. Beyond just the artifacts and the petroglyphs, the land formations and the areas around the Black Hills are significant to the Lakota people for spiritual and historical values of where the people existed and how they came to be. It gives me an overwhelming feeling to know that I'm walking in the same footsteps of where my ancestors have been. and encourages me to become a warrior to protect this place and to ensure its existence for many generations to come. <laughs>